Animation principles. So I, I am an animator. So I'm going to talk about animation stuff. But before I get into this, I do want to address that I've had students who've been like, how do I get a job at Pixar? Well, how do you win the lottery? Now, that's not, that's not totally fair because winning the lottery is, to some extent, a chance thing. But the reality of it is, yeah, Pixar is the number one feature animation production studio in the world when they have an opening for any position. The best people in the world are competing for that opening. So if you're amazingly good at what you do, good luck. If you're not amazingly good at what you do, I'm just kidding. I, I'm just saying that, that the reality of it is, that, and, and, and saying there's games almost sounds derogatory. Honestly, I'm telling you right now, there's going to be a point where couldn't get a job in games. There's film. That can happen. Don't doubt me. You have to be good at what you do. Whatever you choose to do, you have to pick one thing you're exceptionally good at and you just be the best at that thing that you know how to be. The people that I know that work at Pixar, two of them are animators. Most of them are not animators. One of them is a shader, one of them is a Malaya artist, there's other positions. And they work at Pixar and they love working at Pixar. They're not animators. They do their job exceptionally well. And there's a lot of different jobs in game production, in film production, in visual effects production. You need to think about what you do, because there is something. I'm willing to bet that all of you have something where it's like, I'm pretty good at this, I'm pretty good at this, but this, I, it's almost a little effortless. Like, I just do that, and I don't even have to try real hard. And whatever that is, if it's not the cool, sexy thing, who cares? Someone or something is telling you that that's your deal, and you should embrace it and hold on to it and learn how to do it the best you can and just be rad at doing that. And that's cool, you know? I mean, having listened to me speak for the last 45 minutes, is there any part of you at all who was like, Ron, animator? Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a bit of an extrovert. I'm a bit of a performer by nature. Like, I'm, I just, I've always been this person who will stand up and be like, I got a dream, like, it's just, it just, it's who I am, and it's worked against me sometimes, because they're like, mm. but it's who I am, so it's me following what I do, and you all know what it is, and again, I'm not going to call you out individually, but I guarantee you, all of you know what that is and it might have been something that you never imagined going into school that was the thing that i was gonna and there's almost like a part of you that's like i'm not gonna do that because well that's not like cool that's not but it's just you're so good at it why wouldn't you do that when you're so good at it do you understand that there are people who wish they could be as good at that as you just Accept it and embrace it and go with it. Because the fact of the matter is, is that it's kind of like law school. Like there's more law students than there are lawyers in the, it's kind of the same thing with CG. There's every, <laughs> and the thing is, is that no, you're not. And that sounds harsh, but it's true. There's a lot of really talented people. So if you're really good at that, and that's not what everybody else wants to be, you have a very good chance of getting a job with a major studio doing that because people are like, pretty game, 
And you're like, Pixar, bitch. So, but it's true. If, if you just, like one of my students, had just kind of a natural knack for, you know, creating like a rig that had procedural, like the bikes and the wheels and the thing, and it's like, he kind of like, he showed, he could have done anything in a, Paul, you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> I told him he could do anything he wanted, and he chose to do this BMX scene because there was some little part of him that went, I can make a BMX bike. And I can make those wheels move whenever it moves in the y-axis. And I can actually like do all this and that. Rigging? Right? No, but some part of you went, you know, and you have to listen to that part of you. Things don't happen by accident. Nothing happens by accident. I'm a, not a religious person, but I'm a firm believer that things don't happen by accident. There are some people who are in this room who didn't think about doing a certain thing that just because I'm saying what I'm saying right now are going to go, oh, wow, you know what? And they're eventually going to be so good at that that they're going to teach a class in that subject and other students who want to be them are going to go, dude, I just want to be you. And you're going to be like, well, Ron Friedman told me that I would should do this instead. <laughs> but that can happen. 